Hi, this video tutorial I will cover how to configure C3PO connection pooling. During server startup, we can create the data source object and register in the naming service. Example of naming service is JNDI. And here you can see key is uh, JDBC slash WellDB and corresponding value is uh, C3PO data source object. And from web application, using JNDI lookup, we can get this data source object. And once we get the data source object in the web application, from data source object, we can get the connection object. And using that connection object, we can communicate to the MySQL database or Oracle database. Now we will see how to configure it. Here you can see the city table, which is there in the world database. And I have written this query, select star from city, limit is 10. I am executing this query. And here you can see the output. And now we will see using Serlet how to get this uh, city information and display in the web browser. To configure uh, C3PO connection pool, first we have to download C3PO related jars from this site. Click on download. It will download a C3PO zip file. And uh, it is downloaded uh, C3PO zip file. I am extracting this. And inside leaf folder, you can see the C3PO related jars. Copy. And place inside the Tomcat leaf folder. And also we have to place uh, MySQL connector Java uh, because uh, we are using MySQL uh, database. So this jar should be placed inside the Tomcat leaf folder. Then in this uh, context.xml file, we have to configure the uh, C3PO connection pool. Name is uh, JDBC slash world DB, auth container, description uh, DB connection, driver class is com.mysql.jdbc.driver, max pool size is 50, min pool size is uh, 10, acquire increment uh, 10, username and password of uh, MySQL which is root root and factory is uh, bean factory, type is uh, C3PO combo pooled data source and URL of the MySQL database. To explain uh, C3PO connection pool, I have created this project. In this project, in web.xml, I have configured uh, city info servlet. URL pattern for this servlet is uh, city info. And also I have configured uh, resource ref. Uh, description is uh, DB connection. And uh, resource ref name is JDBC slash WellDB, which we have configured in uh, context.xml. Here we have configured and resource type is javax.sql.data source resource auth is container now I will deploy this web application in Tomcat server Server has been started. This is the URL to access the web application. And it is displaying the welcome page. And this index.html is the welcome page. It has uh, one link called show city information. And URL pattern is uh, city info. I am clicking on this link. The request goes to the server and we got the city information from MySQL database. And the request goes to the server and the URL pattern is uh, city info. The server will forward the request to servlet container. Servlet container will check whether this uh, URL pattern is there in the web.xml or not. 
in uh, web.xml this url pattern is there corresponding uh, servlet is city info servlet so the servlet container will execute uh, city info servlet first uh, servlet container will call init method of uh, city info servlet to initialize this servlet and uh, in init method uh, what we are doing is uh, we are getting data source uh, using jnda lookup and uh, that data source object we are assigning to this variable then servlet container will call uh, do get method to process the request uh, in do get method what we are doing is we are calling uh, show city information method and passing a uh, print writer object and in uh, show city information method we are getting a connection object from the data source object and once we get the connection object we are calling a prepare statement method passing the sql sql is uh, select star from city limit question mark and we are setting the parameter as uh, 10 so we can get uh, first 10 records and we are executing a uh, prepare statement this method will return a result set once we get the result set object we are iterating the result set object and getting each record from the result set and displaying the output here you can see the output then we are closing a result set object prepared statement and uh, connection and this is about how to configure c3po connection pooling in tomcat and uh, thanks for watching